What was it like growing up with Karamo as a dad? Um, wow. I, Just because the... you moved out, don't try it. Wow. Okay? You might still need rent money next week. No, I'm joking. You can be honest. Um, I might need some rent money if you're off right yeah. now. Okay, right. You know I won't I mean? turn it down. <laughs> um, growing up with Karamo um, was awesome. I mean, I will say this, though. He was... First of all, I've never heard you say my name. That's so weird. I grew up in a house where kids don't say their parents' names, so, and that was the first time I've ever heard him say my name. Stop instigating. Like, don't get me in okay. trouble here, okay? <laughs> I'm <laughs> surprised they even know my mom's yeah, name like, sometimes, that just, so I that just struck my... I was like, what did you just say? Did you just say my name? Okay, but anyway. Growing up with Dad, <laughs> just trying to give you guys something. Um, it was cool. It was awesome, actually. Um, very, very supportive like he is to this day. And um, I will say, though, and you know this, everyone, you were very, you still are a strict p- parent. He was very strict, very like, you need to follow the rules because he has a plan and he sees something for all of us, meaning his family and loved ones. And um, he just wants to see the best for us. So that's why he's so strict. I, and oh, I, hey. I am proud to be strict. I'm going to be very honest with you um, because I wake up. Yeah, I'll be real with y'all. But but if I can be, get really real and a little emotional, I get up some days and I'm very scared for Jason, even more scared than I was for me growing up. Because I turn on Facebook, I turn on um, social media, I turn on the news, and I see young black men dying constantly. We see it constantly. They're just in their house playing the video games, and someone walks in and is like, oh, I thought this was my house. I'm going to shoot you. And I'm just always like, now that he doesn't live in my house anymore, he moved out on his own, I wake up in these panics of like, what happens if that's my son? And so, you know, my way of giving myself some calmness, but also trying to protect him was being strict. And, um, you know, as he got older, I had to figure out how to navigate that because I wanted him to still be himself and still have fun and still enjoy being young. But it's a scary time right now for young boys and girls of color walking around this world. It's a scary time for women walking around this world. It's a scary time for LGBTQIA people. And it's like, as a parent, I'm like, what do I do? How do I protect him? And so I was strict because of that. And I know that you, your journey to parenting was a little different, right? You didn't really meet a him little different until he was ten. Yeah. So did that impact how the the focus of your parenting uh, <sighs> and how just seriously you took it? Oh, a hundred percent. Because when so every quickly, I didn't know about Jason. His mother was the last girl I, I only I dated in high school. We were fifteen, only girl I ever slept with, and we had a baby. And sh- this is before social media. <laughs> <laughs> we had social media, and she moved away. I moved away, and we didn't think of anything of it. And then years later, I got a stack of papers for a back child support for a child I did not know existed, and here he is. Um, and once I met his mother, I realized there was no malicious intent. And we talked about it, and I gained custody of Jason and then his little brother later. And at that point, I was 26 and a train wreck myself, or just coming out of the train wreck. Like, the train had already wrecked, and was, off, and they were trying to build it back onto, yeah, the, yeah, build the onto the track. <laughs> And so as I was meeting him, it was like, I kept thinking to myself, do I want him to model this negative behavior? You know, because I used to say a lot of bad things about myself. I used to tell myself, like, oh, you're not smart enough. You don't look good enough. I used to want to change so much about me. And I used to say, do I want him to live like this? Or I used to dabble around with drugs, and I used to be like, do I want him to do these things? Dad, can I, is this where... You got this mantra then? This sounds like it's where you got it from. Where from myself? This, I think yeah, this is where like we're getting to. I mean, bit. I mean, it's it's always been in me because I I grew up in the church and in the church there's this sort of ideal of like you were designed by God and so yeah and so you, I always heard that it just wasn't said in these words and so that's where it's always stemmed from and it came from you and but when I did get the kids I was like I got to change t- for the better for myself because I need him to have a good life. Yeah. 